bones. I've been talking about bones and we've been talking about how to have immunity in a season like this and for the future. I've been talking about immunity. Okay. I said that when you have joy, when your life is filled with joy, you begin to have long life. Proverbs 17, 20 says that, what does Proverbs 20, 17, I'm going to read this version and there's another version, but 17, 22 says a merry heart does good like medicine, but a broken spirit dries up the bones. And that is, I, that's what I've been taking, uh, uh, the scripture that, that I've been using to speak to you. Because I said, inside your bone, there is the marrow. And in the marrow, red blood cells and white blood cells have been created. When the blood cells are not healthy, your life is not healthy. Because your life is in the blood. Now, I've been talking to you how to make your blood cells healthy. Bones healthy. The factory healthy. So that your life becomes healthy. How many have been blessed by something in the last five weeks, uh, put a thumbs up there. Put a heart and say, yes, man, I, I've received something. I got something, okay? And today, I, I've been talking about so many things. Your bones can be waxed. Uh, your bones, I, I've been talking about your bones can be cursed. Your bones can be dry. Your bones can be decaying or rotten. I talk to different things. But today, I'm going to talk to you about Three things, positive things that hap can happen to your bones and your immune system, okay? White blood cells are necessary. Every 13 to 20 days, new white blood cells have been created. Red blood cells are created in a cycle of 120 days, okay? 120 days. That's why I said you can change the cycle. You can change the, the, the ability of these white blood cells and red blood cells if you really... Get this from the word. And it is already there. So many years ago, God gave revelation and all of these guys wrote about it. Proverbs. Solomon wrote about it. The wisest guy, he's writing about it, man. And then we see Psalms. David wrote about it. Why is it? Because they got a revelation that doctors are finding out now. Number seven. Your bones can be made fat. Now, fat is not a good word for us. <laughs> People don't like to hear a fat man. I don't want to listen to a fat. But if fat means in the word prosperity, write it down, prosperity. Prosperity. Fat means in the word prosperity. Proverbs 15.30. Okay, the amplified version will come there. Uh, the regular version is good, but I want to read to you amplified version. Maybe I, I just need a full screen on this. Okay. Uh, Proverbs 15.30 says, The light of the eyes rejoices the heart, half, uh, heart of others. Okay. Light of the eyes rejoices the heart of others. And good news puts fat on the bones. Good news puts fat on the bones. Prosperity in your bones. But you need to be listening to good news. Some of you listen to bad news over and over again. Sometimes you are on the phone listening to this and scrolling WhatsApp. All the news that is coming. Scrolling Facebook right there. Sometimes people are on this call and watching the 8 o'clock news. I may be prophesying. But I am here to tell you, if you keep listening to bad news, the fatness, the prosperity of your bones, of your immunity system can be broken down. But how do you make it fat? How do you make your bones prosperous? Is listening to good news. That's why you need to be listening to good, not, not only me, you got to be listening to good Worship music, good news that comes. You know, this is the good news. Though his word is the good news. His word is the good news. That's why you need to be reading the good news so that you will hear good news, good reports. In another version it says, 
you need to be listening to good speaking you know you can you have access to podcasts you have access to youtube and all different types of methods and good reading material keep reading good things listening to good things because that will make your bones to prosper another way that your bones can get fat is not only listening to good news Isaiah 58 verses 11 Isaiah 58 verses 11 Isaiah 58 talks about fasting okay i want to read this verse 5811 says the lord will guide you continually satisfying your soul in drought and strengthening your bones strengthening your bones you shall be like a well watered garden like a spring of water whose water do not fail in other words it's saying you will prosper and that whole passage talks about fasting fasting causes your bones to get fat or rather you to have immunity your white blood cells to come now science is fighting that's why you know have you heard uh, doctors uh, talk about uh, intermittent fast or uh, inter inter uh, man all these medical guys are there you understand or you understand this fasting you know they talk about 16 hours of fasting 8 hours of eating 16 hours of fasting 8 hours of eating then they do 12 and 8 or something something like that they they do all kinds of this different fast that doctors are recommending now okay why is that they are finding out that fasting causes you to be healthy bible spoke about it so many years ago <laughs> what a wonderful god we serve what an amazing god we serve what a wise god we serve what a brilliant god we serve can you see what i'm talking about and anybody who's in the medical profession he will say yes fasting causes different things to happen in your body in your metabolism and in your whole body and your structure because why there is something about it that makes your bones to become fat prosperous then jesus start his ministry with fasting then he says these kind of things cannot be taken out unless you fast he talk about fasting again and you see so many times he talks about fasting 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 but actually the lord was telling you how to get healthy don't be always in gluttony when you take a break your system reboots and i'll tell you you can google you can find out that what i'm saying is so true because science is also agreeing medical science is also agreeing with what the word is god is saying number 7 are you getting something out of this number 8 sorry number 8 your bones can be healthy proverbs 16 verses 24 how can you make your bones healthy how can you make your bones healthy i'm giving you a secret now okay 1 2 3 oh, it's okay 8 8 one proverbs 16 24 do we have that verse okay there it is pleasant words are like a honeycomb sweetness to the soul and health to the bones pleasant words write it down pleasant words pleasant words don't hang around people who do not have pleasant words some of you are already sick as a result of listening to unpleasant words over and over and over and over again and today i'm telling you here this is the second wisest guy this is the wisest guy after jesus he writes and says hey do you want to have sweetness in your soul and health in your bones listen to pleasant words major advice have you ever heard this advice i bet you have it <laughs> that's why also the word of god says that death and life is in the tongue okay and death and life life is in the blood also so when you speak the words it can be affecting your bones when you hang around negative people when you hang around people who are critical who are always complaining grumbling murmuring and that is where where you are continually dwelling it can cause you to be sick 
you need to check who are the people around you who are the who are the people that are around you the other thing that you got to ask yourself is am i speaking pleasant words because if you are not a person who's speaking pleasant words it can also affect you that you can have unhealthy bones but i am talking how to get healthy start speaking pleasant words somebody say pleasant words say this with me pleasant words pleasant words as you speak pleasant words you will begin to see health coming to you health come to you and now medical science also has done a lot of research in talking to how many people have been affected by words there is research that have been done i think you can google this once again i'm telling that you can google because you can find out all of the things that i'm saying are really true uh, and that the bible has talked about it many years ago science comes and just confirms everything that has been happening and everything that medically people are finding out now they say that they put these two groups in two different rooms even though they were not sick the doctor said that you are sick and you are not feeling well and they just gave medicine but it was not actually medicine they said it was medicine and after about a month or more the guys who did not have anything they were equally healthy in both rooms but at the end of the research these guys who did not have any condition in their body became sick and the guys who were healthy remain healthy words words have power what do you speak do you have pleasant words do you have pleasant people around you pastor don't talk about it now when you are talking about this pastor i'll have to leave this house pastor you are talking about pleasant words thank you jesus that you are talking about this now you've given me access to leave this house also no i am not talking about change the culture of your home you can do that speak pleasant words associate pleasant people shikorozo kotorobo ziba somebody is getting what i'm talking about right now okay cut off the critical people cut off the people that are speaking negativity and all kinds of things into your life that is not so great speak words of life amen number 9 number 9 third point for today the last one I feel like somebody is having a digestive disorder even you are struggling with it right now and you're going to be healed at this very moment okay something wrong with something you ate or something like food poisoning you're feeling it and the lord is saying i'm healing you right now god is putting his hand right there and bringing healing in jesus name and then a right shoulder i see that uh, somebody who's having an issue with your right shoulder like uh, you're unable to kind of move is are you unable to move it there's been some issues there uh, even right now you can try that because i feel like holy spirit is really re- releasing healing at this very moment hallelujah thank you lord nine your bones can flourish flourish your bones can flourish let me read to you a scripture isaiah 66:14 isaiah 66:14 Okay now I'm not telling you not to go to a doctor okay that's not what I'm saying but I'm telling you and talking to you how to stay healthy how to have that white blood cells that can fight off uh, disease and all kinds of viruses how to get that stronger this bible is talking about it man come on god has already created things and shown things and as people of god as we tap into these things when we start really living this word we will have life 6614 in the esv uh, translation it says this you shall see and your heart shall rejoice your bones shall flourish like grass <laughs> flourish like grass is that amazing and the hand of the lord shall be known to his servants and he shall show his dignity okay for the enemies uh, forget about the enemies but look at what you got if you will rejoice your bones shall flourish like grass what does flourish mean okay flourish means write it down grow 
Flourish means grow or develop in a healthy or a vigorous way. Grow or develop in a healthy or a vigorous way. Especially as a result of a particular environment. Wow. So your bones can flourish only if it is in a particular environment. Now I'm going to backtrack and tell you why and how your bones can flourish. Write this down, peace and comfort. Your bones will flourish when you have peace and comfort. Okay. Pastor, how did you associate this with this verse? Verse number 13. Verse number 11 says this. 12, rather 12 says this. For this, thus says the Lord, Behold, I will extend peace to her like a river. And the glory of the Gentiles like a flowing stream, then you shall feed on her side and shall be carried and be dandled on her knees. Verse number 13, 13 as one whom his mother comforts. First peace, then comfort. Then verse 14 says, you will rejoice and your bones shall flourish. <laughs> Peace and comfort. When you have made peace with the Lord, your bones shall flourish. When you find comfort in His presence, your bones shall flourish. Some of you are trying to find your comfort in other things. Things that are like aspirations and things that you have going after. But the Lord is saying, find comfort in me and you will see your bones flourish. Find peace in me. Jesus said, the peace I give to you is not the kind of peace that you are thinking. Because he's the prince of peace. When you invite him, his presence, his comfort, your bones flourish. Some of us don't, when we are going through difficult times, times like this, our bones cannot flourish. It can, what is, wither. <laughs> the opposite of flourish is withering. Bones are withering. Our immunity is dropping. And uh, one of the doctors who spoke on TV a few weeks ago said one thing. If you keep listening to the voice of fear, he said this, okay, voice of fear, you automatically will have no immunity and you can get sick. He said it. He's not even a Christian. Now I'm teaching you from the word. I'm telling you, find peace in crazy times. You have seen people who have gone through crazy situations, they fall sick. But then there are other people who have gone through crazy situations and they're asking, hey, how do you do it? How, how are you still smiling? They ask him, my mother, at times, you know, my father, uh, I lost him uh, when he was, uh, we lost him when he was 13 years old. My mother had to bring up two boys, feed them, educate them, give a, you know, a house, build the house, do all of these things. She did all of this and she still kept a smile. She still kept reaching out for people. She still, even there are people on this call who she has invited. She's still doing, she's almost 70. She still keeps going and kept the peace, kept the comfort that comes through the presence of God. And very rarely, a sickness comes to her. Very rarely, I'm telling you. Thank you for the hearts. Oh man, when I talk about the mother, people put all from candy. Keep putting the hearts, you know, praise God. She's very popular, I told you, she's popular than me. <laughs> and she has not even shown her face. <laughs> Mama has shown it. No sicknesses, not real sicknesses. People are saying, if you get the second vaccine, you will get sick, you will do this, that. Man, she went for the first, nothing, second, nothing. And here I got my second vaccine and I am in view and she's encouraging me, don't worry, those going to go away, man. She has found comfort even more than me. Peace even more than me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is real. I'm telling you, it's real. She's almost 70. No jokes. We went through chaos, hell. You know, 
I'm bringing this to a close right now. Are you getting something out of this? One night, one of my uncles brought a gas cylinder and tried to set the whole church on fire in Kandy. This is the kind of craziness we were living in. I'm telling you. She kept her peace. My father was an alcoholic. He was really crazy. He didn't provide. She kept her peace. I, I, I can't even recall that she was in hospital at all in her whole life, unless in, while she was in labor. <laughs> Why am I try, trying to tell you these things? This is real, ladies and gentlemen. And I don't think she's heard this message even, but she was living it. I am encouraging you. You can live this. This is your portion. Comfort, peace. Your bones will flourish. Now my mother climbs the hundred stairs. I am panting. She is helping. Bones flourish. Of course, I have had some unhealthy habits. That cannot be blamed on God. <laughs> So if you now even get all of this and live unhealthy and you can't blame God, but you have to do healthy practices plus this word of God will help you to live with immunity. How, how many of you are getting something out of this and say, yes, pastor, yes, right now, right now. Your bones can flourish. Your bones can be made fat, prosperous. Your bones can be made healthy. So for that, you need three things also. The three things that you have to receive is good news, Pleasant words, good news, pleasant words, peace and comfort. So Father, this evening I declare that and I decree that over every person that is logged in right now in Jesus' name. Any circumstances, anything that has caused them to always keep receiving bad news. I break that cycle off them in Jesus' mighty name. No more bad news. They will not open the door of their heart, their eyes, their ears for bad news, but they will open their heart for good news and continue to do that in Jesus' name. I also pray and declare pleasant words will come out of their mouth and pleasant people will be attracted. All the negative people and their relationships will be broken off right now in Jesus' mighty name. I declare healing in the bones. Right now it's happening. Wrist pains are leaving. Yes, ankle pains are leaving. It's happening now. I feel like fire in your wrist, fire in your ankle. Kumo ziba rako zoko. In the calf, you've been healed right now in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, some, somebody who's having migraine now is disappearing at this very moment. Yes, you will feel it. You will feel it. You will feel it. You will feel it in Jesus' name. And then there's another person, suicidal thoughts. It's knocking at your door. Suicidal thoughts are knocking at your door. Depression is knocking at your door. Suicide is knocking at your door. Keeps knocking at your door. And the Lord is saying, I'm breaking you out of that in the name of Jesus. And I'm setting you on a course of peace and comfort. I release peace and comfort, especially in a time like this. And Lord, I ask every person will not only be hearers, but will receive the word and declare the word confess the word, live the word, and we'll see a revelation of this word in their lives. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, amen, amen. How many say amen? Put a thumbs up there. Now I want to also encourage you, if you want to learn this word again, listen to this again, YouTube channel, uh, Dinesh uh, Mitchell TV, uh, they're telling me, I have forgotten it. Uh, it's, it's on there. And then uh, when you connect to these groups, all these encouraging words are coming. Keep encouraging things come to your life. Don't let all of these discouraging things only come. Don't listen and be uh, connected to all the other groups and not to the right groups. Be connected with the right groups. Keep yourself occupied with the things of God and you will see automatically you come into a new place of health. Not only physical health, but spiritual health also. 